So in this video, we will install the Rista switch that we talked about downloading from the last video. Once you have downloaded it, you should have an ISO and a VMDK, and we'll use the 64-bit. And this guy will just select these two and copy it from the download folder and then go to the virtual box VM folder. In my case, it's users, my name and virtual box VMs. You may have to find it where it is. Once you get there, create a new folder called switch two or switch one in your case or whatever you want to call it. And then in that folder, copy those files, or paste that files that we just copied. Once they are copied, you would go and create the virtual machine. New switch to and you're gonna say other and 64 other because we got a 64 bit VM. Go to next. You're gonna use two gig or more. I'll just do a two gig right now. And you're gonna say do not because we're gonna use an existing one. And we'll add it later. Create, continue. And now once you have this, you're gonna to go to the settings and you're gonna to go to the storage and you're gonna add the boot disk, which is gonna be your optical. And you're gonna go choose that from your folder under your switch to where you copied it. There it is. And then you're gonna to have to go and choose it. is not attached shoes you're gonna also have to click here and then add a disk add again go to switch to this guy here and then again you're gonna have to go and not attached under not attached you're gonna choose this one and once it does that, you will go to your, so it's got IDE controller under the single IDE, you got a boot disk and a uh, startup disk. You need both of those. And now you're gonna go to the network. And this is, the first one is management. You can keep it as host only or leave it alone, but you should enable the second, which is your ethernet one, and third, which is your ethernet two. And you should do it internal and PCI fast, allow all, same with this guy attach internal, PCI fast three, allow all. All right, we got three adapters, three interfaces. First one is the management, Ethernet one is this one, and Ethernet two is this one, okay? Now, when you start this guy, it's gonna take a while, and uh, it'll give you a lot of messages, maybe a minute or two, depending how quick your machine is. And once it starts, You'd see this screen, a lot of messages coming through. And on, you will see some green lights coming through. And then when you see this message, you can press escape. And it should come to your login. And here you can type in admin. 
and then it'll start giving you these errors or messages. Don't worry about it, just wait them out. So once you get these messages, it may take uh, 15, 20 seconds, you do admin and you would probably get those messages again. It's a lab version and it's buggy, but once it gets going, it's very useful. So once you get this localhost prompt, after <clears throat> repeated message of this Pi server not responding, don't worry about it, just wait it out. And once you get this, you just type in, login is admin, and you just type in enable, and these are all the bugs. Once you get the enable en like this, you should get the hash sign. And typically you may also get uh, a zero touch thing where you would do zero touch cancel. And this guy would restart. And once you it goes through the restart, it'll give you this message. You just say ignore and then close it, say power off, and it would go away, and then you can click on it and start again. Painful to start or install, but when it's up and running, you can learn the entire switch feature set in this virtual machine. So you should go through this process one more time. You'll see those messages come through again. Escape. And once you get that prompt, you type in admin enter. You may get that pie server thing again, just wait it out. So after a good solid minute, you may get a prompt like this, enable, and uh, there you go. You get, if you still get that zero touch messages, you can always type zero touch cancel, but it's gonna go through the boot cycle again, but uh, we already did that. So now here's your switch. And if you do show interface status, you'll see that you got management and two ethernet connected and we can configure and play and learn uh, a real switch feature set.